Hey guys, this is Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. I'm here at a industry event on behalf of Arms and Arms this time, and uh, we are meeting with Todd. He's from the SIG Academy. He's going to go over all the cool stuff you guys have at Six Hour this year. They have a ton of products, so bear with us. We're going to try to get through as many of the you know the new stuff as we can, and uh, we'll go from there. So this is my most exciting new toy. This is everybody's yeah. exciting new number one of our Christmas wish list. Absolutely. We'll go over some things yep. because we couldn't go over everything. We have so much. Yeah, no way. Uh, one of the things we can say about SIG is yeah. the variety. So this is the MPX. And, uh, its anticipated arrival is uh, unheard of, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our version, our new version of the sub gun. Uh, Really, the sub gun hasn't been redesigned for what, 50 years? Yeah, the MP5, right? Yeah. Since the MP5. So um, we're looking at sub gun, we're looking at pistol calipers here, 93357 um, uh, Of course, you have all of the different options with this, right? You can change out the rails, you can change out the sights, you can rotate the take uh, or the uh, folding stock. Um, Ambidextrous switches, uh, so it's a fully ambidextrous gun. Yeah, um, I got to shoot the gun uh, at the uh, product shoot, and it is pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. I gotta be honest, it's a sweet shooting little, super flat, yeah. super easy, super wieldable, very very cool. Gun. And pis yeah, pistol caliber, yeah, so. uh, short stroke piston design, yep. so you have that reliability. Yep. Breach locking and all. Yeah, yeah, we don't expect any less from you guys. So, what's the what's the holdup on this one right now? We're just right now we're working at a, a particular ammunition that we want to make sure works with it. Awesome. Um, and then and, and, and some magazine issue. We want to make sure all those magazine issues. If you come to the market with a gun that hasn't been done in 50 years, you better nail it. We, we want to nail it. We'd awesome. rather take our time with it. Yep. Put it out right and then they come. Very cool. So this is the MCX and we did get a chance to shoot this fully suppressed, which was awesome. And it was it's kind of like nothing you've ever shot before. So the MCX is shipping. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's shipped in a 300 block now. Right on. But you're going to be able to make this uh, a 5.56 okay. as well as 7.62 by 30. Really? Interesting. So, so this is a modular rifle. Okay. Modularity is kind of the new direction that we're moving into in a lot of our lives. We'll yeah. talk about something else later. So the four end comes off of this and you put whatever you want on it as well as the barrel swap out. Obviously the upper portion of this is serial. Right? Yep. Okay. So, you can swap out the lowers and really? swap out the barrels and change this into whatever you want. Very cool. <laughs> so yeah. if you want to, you can buy this as a 300 blackout to shoot certain four-legged critters. Right. And then, and then you could maybe flip it to a 5.56 to go shoot some competition, some yep. three gun yep. stuff. Absolutely. We got and lots of three gunners in our, our channel. And then turn it around and put it as a 7.62 for home effect. Very cool. All Very with cool. one right. Yep. And again, all the different variations. It's ambidextrous. Yep. Uh, uh, sight configuration. It's four engine very configuration. Very up here, and you've got the QDs in there. It's all fantastic. And then we shot it suppressed, and you guys are all of a sudden in the suppressor market. So just a quick, just run down on what's up with that. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything over the top, but just here we go, right? Unfortunately, a lot of our a lot of our guys live in occupied territory with me, and they also know that I tend to steal things when I'm in conversations with uh, manufacturers. I'll keep an eye on Yeah, I know you will. <laughs> but you've got the cool new quick detach system. And, 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 and this is part of yep. the system of the silencers that make it so cool right on. Um, is these quick detach. Yep. Uh, uh, so, so once you get your threaded barrel, yep. you attach these, and then the silencer goes on top of those. We make them in different, in different, you know, calibers, yep. and different size suppressions. So, okay, cool. um, uh, you know, we just started launching these suppressors. Yep. They are lighter, <laughs> more efficient. Yeah. Different back. It's not that light. <laughs> it's not that light. It's so light it went home with me. That's right. <laughs> so they're lighter. They're more efficient. Yep. And. Um, Excuse me, brother. We're just doing a little bit of it. Oh, I'm right sorry. It's all good. Sorry, no, don't sorry. worry about it at all. It's Everybody's all good. so excited it's to look at these things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not that kind of show. <laughs> they're lighter, they're fantastic. more efficient, yeah. and um, and less expensive. 
than just about anything else on the And that is always makes everybody perk up and listen, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about the awesome. So, okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is the 320, which is their new modular striker fire handgun. So I'm going to start off by saying I've tried this gun out in the shop, right? I do a lot of dry fire striker practice, right? So I was dry firing this thing in the shop, checking it out, and I did not like the trigger. So I was not convinced this was going to be a good gun for me or for anybody for that matter. Until I went to the range day and shot And we had all the steel lined up and I'm going to in some uh, shooting. But hey, it makes it look really cool. So, but, um, it was just like one for one. I put in the hands. No, 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 no. I don't do that. You know, there's some misses in here too. But you know, for a new gun, you got six rounds. You know, five plates went down in six shots, never having fired the platform before. You know, for me, that says, well, hey, this, this gun operates. And so tell me why. That should be. The, the compact, not the sub, but the compact and the full size. It was awesome. So, so originally, we came, originally we came out with this in the full size, right? Full size, medium grip. And so what makes this gun so interesting is is the uh, modularity. Okay. You take out, I'll show you in a second, you take out this unit, the chassis of it. Step out of the way so and see it. drop it into whatever frame size fits our hand. Right. And it's a real simple operation. And unlike other polymer frame striker guns on the market, we don't need to pull the trigger to take off. And we don't need a tool to take it off. So it just has to be uh, magazine efficient. It has to have the slide lock back. Just rotate the tape down. And then your slide comes off in the middle of the back. And then you literally you take the tape down. And this is designed so the end user can do this. Yeah, it's encouraged. So the serialized part is actually the, serialized part the trigger is mechanism. mechanism. Yeah. That is the gun. Huh. So what we said as a company is we want a steel yep. frame polymer or a steel frame striker fire pistol. You with me? All this is is nothing but a ship. Yeah, it's really just a piece of plastic. Which costs, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you can not, see that. Much there's, there's no guts in this whatsoever. So from here, so think about it from this perspective because your viewers are competitive. Yeah. Okay, so you can scratch this up, you can take a wood carving to it, yeah. you can do your stippling the way you want it to be, yeah. and if you screw it up, you can throw it away, <laughs> and you buy another one for it. I've never screwed up a stippling job in my life. Yeah. And you're good to go. So what you could do with this gun yeah. is you drop it into your large frame, yep. shoot your competition in, say, nine. Yep. You go back to the back of the range, you take this out, yep. you put it in a subcompact or a compact frame. Very cool. Compact number, I mean, it would be say 3576. Yeah. yeah. And, sorry, we just got the camera going right here. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> you put it in a, in, in a compact, say 3576, yeah. and carry it out and it's a concealed carry. Yeah. Same gun, totally different yeah. caliber, yeah. length, and size. And as I said, the trigger was really surprising. You put around in front of it, it reacts, to, it really does feel different to me. It, it's, it loses some of the softness and the springiness I felt in the shop. I found this crisp. Yeah. It's got a short reset. Right yep. No, that's. Looking at a five and a half inch break, yep. give or take. Yep. Five and a half pounds, pound break. sorry. Yep. And, and, and uh, a very flat shoot. Yeah. No, I found that because you got a little higher bore axis, and I'm used to it a lot of you know, striker guns, right? Um, I, I was shocked that it did flip a little more on me than I'm used to from the grip I've got on, like, let's say my Glock, for example, but I shoot a lot, a lot of Glock. But what I found was is the recovery, the way the grip angle was and everything, it just was so natural, I was back on the sights. It didn't, it didn't matter that I felt a little more rise, because it just was so much quicker. Unlike the Glock, where my grip is um, really dependent on what I want out of the gun, uh, it drives straighter back for me, it's mostly because I shoot it so much. Yeah, again. But what I was amazed by this is it was so intuitively like, right back to target, right back to target, right back to target. Now it's pulling off. I mean, like yes. I said, easy yeah. to shoot. I carry it easy. I did yeah. want to like this gun when okay. it came out. Yeah, no. And now I carry it. Yeah. Really? Yes. That's amazing. That's the gun, that's that's the gun a, I carry that's a, and the gun that I shoot in my school. Yeah, well. that's a testament. Yeah, it's more than that. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit, just really quickly touch on the ammo thing, because this is uh, another thing you guys, I mean, you guys have a lot going on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we so do, we, we have, have the shot, we bring it out a lot of yeah. uh, different products, and ammo is part of this. Part of that. So, so last year we launched um, an ammo line that had the five major pistol calibers right. in a carry Yep. Uh, a hollow point, non-bonded round, 
performed very well in all of the tests. And this is doing real well ballistically, internal and internal. So it shoots fast and shoots flat as well. So we had all of those. Now we're coming out with um, we're increasing okay, the the carry range. Yep. We're increasing also uh, into the rifle market as well with yeah. rifle rounds. And then we're adding on top of that uh, 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 training ammo, ball ammo, in, in the calibers that are. That I'm are assuming high. it's no accident. Your first rifle round is precedent. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Yeah. It's I, one stop shop. Yeah, exactly. Everything is integrated. Oh, it's fantastic. Well, it's, it, and the bullet is as much part of your system as your magazine, your gun, your everything. It's Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, cool. and, and, and we've increased the lines of uh, bullet weights as well. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So there's a big uh, uh, catalog now just yeah. in ammunition. Yeah. So. Modularity in pistol, yep. modularity in ammunition, so to speak, yep. with, the different, with the different options. With the rifles. We've got rifles that are, that are modular. And this is all in addition to better classic stuff that we've always got. We're going to move on to the optics here in a sec. Um, let me just kind of reset up for that so it's easy for us to talk about them. It's also everybody, their dog, is wanting to get in there, so we're going to have to make a little room. Because this is the stuff that, you know, I expect you to make good ammo, I expect you to make good guns. Let's talk optics here and see what you got going for the season. This is something my viewers really good to show us up too. All right, so this is this is the stuff that uh, was very intriguing for me at the first show I went to this year, and, and uh, it was almost all prototypes at the time, and now we're starting to see more and more of the production guns out. And the one that's we don't have here to show you, but it's from this line, and uh, this is the Tango line. They make this in a one to six. It's uh, it's a pretty impressive piece, guys. You know we have an affinity for for one particular company, but it's really nice to see some competition coming out. And uh, this is just covered in features. So I, you know, and I know this is your your ballywick is of the optics, but uh, tell us a little bit of what you know. What about I can this tell one. you, this is let me back up and say. Yeah. So as a company, yeah. we've gone out and assembled. Uh, the eight. Okay. You know, we grab people from yep. the industry, whether it's the suppressor industry, engineers, engineers from that industry that are over now, yep. as well as this industry. We grab them. We made them a part of the family now, and they're developing stuff for us. They're developing stuff for us that they've always wanted to do that they had in their head. We're using the best glass that we find, that we can find, German glass. Um, the best engineering that we can get, we're putting them all together in packages that we're trying to make at a price point a little bit lower than everybody else. Same quality, if not better. Yep. But just fantastic. price a little bit better. Coating on the lenses is there. I mean, we could go on and hours yeah. and hours and hours about this stuff. And another one thing about this company that we have the advantage of over some of the other, some of the other companies is, as Academy said, we get to test this stuff, beat it up, Hand it back to the engineers and say you need to do this, you need to do that. This isn't good enough. And we're coming out now with finalized products that kind of pass those tests. We we went to a, a, a breakfast with um, is it Ron Cohen, the, the, uh, Ron Cohen, the, uh, the CEO of the company, and he basically said these guys are responsible for the level of quality they put out because they send this to their academy where these guys and their students beat the snot out of the stuff. Partly responsible. Plus team effort. Part of that team. But the, the quality. Quality controls, the end user quality controls, coming from some some pretty serious shooters. You know, um, the one that I also wanted to show off for sure was this is the this is it right here. This is the big it's the, the Bravo 4 Prismatic. You're not gonna be able to see this on camera, but you guys know all know Blair has been running an ACOG for years, and what was 30 or 40 percent more field of view on this than on the ACOG. 42 percent, and I'll be honest with you, it's so noticeable. Um, I'll do my best to get an image of this later, but but this is going to be, ah, it's never going to happen, but this is going to be fantastic, and I mean, this is one that's going to be a game changer. Durable, sturdy, yeah. Yeah. And, and a game changer. Absolutely. Very, very cool. Something else that's really exciting that's come out is our Kilo 1600. Yeah. This is this will be in production very shortly. Range finder. Yeah. And the things that are packed into this little little box, little box is, uh, is scary. Absolutely. Right. So we actually had the slow rate that it read the distance down because it was flashing it was so powerful. We actually had to slow it down. It'll, it'll, it'll read four times 
or in a second, where most other read kind of, you know, read about, read about one time per second. Ours is read about four times. It has the angle up and down, it has an infrared in it, so that if you're out at night and you lift it up, it'll automatically dim or brighten the viewing so that you're not blind and you're not yep. damaging your night vision. Yep. Uh, uh, amazing what this is doing. It's hitting 1600 yep. right now. Uh, 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 you heard some bolder claims earlier. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to say anything right now, so but let at the greater distance. Yeah. And I think everybody's confident in saying that it will, once it's in production yeah. now, it'll reach out for it. So yeah. This is a full blown prototype right here, guys. This isn't even on the market yet. This is probably well, the is they were, one of the first times they talked to factories. Yeah, it's on the way. I'll touch it. Let's go. I'll put that joint in. Stick that right here. <laughs> yeah. So the other one that's really cool is you guys are doing the, these little mini reflex sites. And you know, you're a you're a defense shooter, I'm assuming mostly in, in your training. What's the trend on this? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm seeing more and more people coming through this as these reflective type sites become available and guns are, 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 are allowed allowing them to make them to the yep. That's the way to say that. Yep. And we're uh, seeing that from all the big guys. Seeing yep. more and more. So, so some of the features on this little guy here is it's a top mount battery. So once you get it in and, and, and sight it up, you don't have to worry about it. Obviously, you can go witness it. You know, so, so if your battery were to die, it's got an instant off on it. Vibration puts it back on. It's magnesium. Oh, wow. That's so it's so super light. light. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, so from a competition world, but even as from a defensive world, Sure. Shooting yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've got this prismatic in front of you. You got this view with, yeah. the, with that dot. Yeah. That's a game changer. It is. It really is. So and again, it's not going to be that much. Yeah, that expensive. Look how tiny this thing is. Super lightweight. Very, very cool. Well, Todd, I got to thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. This has been amazing. It's a good time. Absolutely. Cool. What's this guy? That's a, is that a yeah. bigger field view? No. That's, same. That's in the gray. Yeah, very cool. We really, really appreciate it. Um, obviously, SIG is making a big push towards getting closer to the consumer, I think, is what we're all seeing through the dealers, through all kinds of different things. It's very cool. If you have questions, shoot us a note. We're going to link all this stuff, at least it's alive now, on the website, down under the, the YouTube page. And uh, see you on the next one. Thanks so much, guys. God bless. Thank you.